Um, and so it's 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 been the object of people's fascination for, for hundreds of years. So I don't I don't have a problem with any of that. I'm just describing the practicality of it. And if if you have the technology and the power to terraform Mars and ship people there, you probably have the ability to bat asteroids out of the way that might have been headed towards Earth. So I'm just speaking in practical terms. I'm not trying to stop anybody from dreaming. I love dreaming beyond horizons. Well, that's the point that's I was going to make to you. got done. Because I was watching the Bill Maher show live, actually, and um, that was the thing that struck me was, here's Neil deGrasse Tyson, one of the great dreamers, right? I mean, you literally have dreamed big your entire life. This is your raison d'etre, is to think the biggest things imaginable, right? And there you were, it, it appeared in the moment to be kind of pouring a bit of cold water on probably the biggest thinker on the planet right now and his massive biggest dream. And that was the only thing I, I was... Well, I thought, well, the next time I talk to you, I'm just... Whether you were aware that so, that was so, the way you were coming over. I, so I, I'm just trying to be real. I mean, I'm, I, I'm in my old age... I've, <laughs> I've just seen how people behave. I see how things get funded. Now, of course, Elon plus one or two other, that's all it would take, one or two other very wealthy people in the world could, if they wanted, as, as basically a vanity project, send astronauts to Mars.